Now, the cool thing about this is that nothing on the Snowflake side changes. The API endpoint is the same, parameters are the same, I'm using the same Cortex search service, I'm using the same Cortex analyst service, it's just the UI that's different, right? Which is pretty awesome. You can plug any UI in front of these Cortex agents APIs and get rolling with it. Now here you can see that we've got the response and let's, let's also look at uh, Slack. There you go. Hi, I am Arun. I'm from the AI product marketing team here at Snowflake. I'm joined by two esteemed colleagues from Snowflake, Dan May, who is a software engineer for AI, and Dash, who is a part of our DevRel team. Today, we are excited to talk about data agents, Cortex agents, what they are, how do they work, and what is the importance of Cortex agents for enterprises. So let's jump right in. Dash, can you give us an example of a real life use case that is using to simplify and drive efficiency when it comes to Cortex agents? I mean, this is so exciting these days because you can have structured and unstructured data. It doesn't matter what kind of use case that is. For example, support or HR analysis of any kind where you have structured data, and also let's say you have some information like contracts in PDFs. Cortex Agents is basically a bridge that allows you to get insights from these types of uh, data sets using just natural language. Great, so with Cortex Agents, it sounds like a business user like myself can go into Slack, ask a question, and get an answer. I don't have to care about what's under the hood. Do you mind showing us a demo of Cortex Agents at this point? Absolutely, this is the best part of this whole session right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the end result. Now here's Slack. I'm gonna go ahead and ask the first question. Now this question obviously is a analytics related question. It's coming from structured data set. So what we're gonna see here is a response in a data frame format. Along with that, we'll also see a chart, right? While this is being processed, what I'm also gonna do is show you how this exact same thing is gonna work in a Microsoft Teams environment. So I've asked the exact same questions and let's see what happens. Now, the cool thing about this is that nothing on the Snowflake side changes. The API endpoint is the same, parameters are the same, I'm using the same Cortex search service, I'm using the same Cortex analyst service, it's just the UI that's different, right? Which is pretty awesome. You can plug any UI in front of these Cortex Agents APIs and get rolling with it. Now here you can see that we've got the response and let's, let's also look at uh, Slack. There you go. Now, we've looked at Cortex Analysts giving us insights from our structured data set. Now let's look at uh, a question that's gonna be answered by our Cortex Search Service and the answer or the insights are coming from our PDF documents we have in Snowflake. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question, what are the payment terms for snow tires? Now I'm gonna go back to Microsoft Teams and I will ask again, using the same APIs, we'll see what the answers look like. Now, the response in this case will not only include the answer we're looking for, but also citations, for example, right? There you go. Now here's the answer we're looking for, and this is a citation that has come from this particular PDF. So we have everything that we need to know right here in this interface. Let's go ahead and look at Slack. So exactly same answer, and then the same citation being provided. Now if you look at the code, this is the Slack code right here, and you will see that all you have to do is basically provide some basic information here in terms of authorization, which in this case is a Java web token. And then down here is where we provide multiple sets of tools. By tools, I mean search services that are gonna power our uh, PDF documents, insights coming from those. And we also have Cortex Analyst Service that's powering our insights from structured data. Now let's look at the exact same code in JavaScript mode for Teams uh, integration. So you'll see I'm passing in same parameters as headers. Um, and then here I have the tools that are exactly the same as the Slack application. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty amazing what you guys have built for us. Thank you. So Dan May, now I'm curious, how is it done today? And what are some of the common pain points that you see our customers face in this space? Yeah, so building AI-powered agentic workflows are not easy. 
and they're usually not easy for a multiplicity of reasons. To begin with, there is the fragmented data access problem that usually customer data, structured or unstructured, lies within different data providers that is hard to unify and query. And second, within the unstructured and structured data, there is usually a layer of retrieval that is inaccurate or unreliable for a different reasons. And then there is governance issues against this access of the data sets that is hard to govern. So with AI models finally generating a coherent response against these fragmented data pieces with different data access, then it's very hard to generate a fast, precise, and scalable data applications using AI. So these are the usual pain points that enterprise faces when they build these kind of apps. So Dan May, can you ground us on what data agents are and specifically what Cortex agents is? So AI strategies usually begin with a very strong data strategy. And Snowflake's Cortex data agents are AI-powered assistants that can retrieve, process, and analyze across structured and unstructured data to provide the accurate insights to enterprise customer. So it begins with an end-to-end -end data ingestion solution and ends with the insights provided through secure governed data access to the correct user. Usually, with a structured and unstructured data, there will be ETL pipeline that transform them into the correct format via regular processing or via parse document for unstructured data, followed by summarization or translation if needed. And then the Cortex agents layer come in to orchestrate across the existing Cortex analytical tools to surface the relevant insights, run the relevant queries, and then refine the responses accordingly. So the end results from these agents' processes are typically surfaced via enterprise apps such as Slack, Microsoft Teams, or Customize UI. So what we provide essentially is a REST API layer for real-time decision-making at scale. And the end-to-end -end user can then utilize Cortex retrieval layer services, including Cortex Search and Cortex Analyst at scale, and use the Snowflake-hosted LLMs for their data insights processes. This is great, Dan May. We are talking about enterprises, so I'm sure we all have the same question top of mind. How do we think about security? How do we think about governance when it comes to scaling these Cortex agents? And how do we make it efficient for enterprise users? That's a great question. So Cortex Agent not only can ensure accuracy via tools like Cortex Analyst for Text2SQL and Cortex Search, but it can also ensure role-based access via the same set of tools to ensure that your agentic interaction with your data is set up in a secure and managed way. On top of that, we're able to provide observability tools to monitor the exact input and output to these agentic workflows via dashboards like TrueLens, for observability and monitoring. Finally, we're able to scale managed GPUs for efficient inference via offerings like provision throughput to be able to scale GPU inference to the correct amount against the enterprise use case. So together, we not only ensure efficiency, but also trustworthy and enterprise readiness for agentic workflows and applications used by everyone in the organization to go from raw data to insights. Great, so it sounds like Cortex agents can allow users to get accurate information from both structured and unstructured data. So for enterprise users, whether they're building conversational apps, doing data analytics, or just automating mundane tasks, they can use Cortex agents to uh, get scalable, reliable information very quickly. Well, this was fantastic. Thank you, Dash. Thank you, Dan May, for being here. And thank you all for watching. We'll post all the details of the demo, the quick starts, et cetera, for you to get started in the description below. Thank you.